Good morning. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person today, but I would, however, like to thank the Mid Wales Health Collaborative, especially the co-chairs, Ruth Hall and Jack Evershed, for organising this event, and the Chief Medical Officer for representing me today. I know you'll be hearing more from Frank later. The theme of your discussions today, how cross-sector partners can come together to deliver against common objectives, is central to our own programme for government, Taking Wales Forward. We've committed to four cross-cutting strategies which Ministers will be responsible for delivering as a team. They span traditional portfolios and require new ways of working across government that are consistent with the requirements of the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. The Healthy and Active strategy provides an opportunity to take a fresh look at our health in all policies approach. You will all be well aware that good health is not simply a result of good health care. National government, local government, health boards, public service boards, local communities, the private sector and the third sectors must all work together to improve health and well-being, focusing on the broader determinants of health, wealth, housing, education, experiences in childhood and so on. The three strategies that sit alongside the Healthy and Active strategy provide an opportunity for the health community to demonstrate its contribution to the wider agenda for example, the impact health has on employment and education. So we're not just concerned with health in all policies, but also all policies in health. The First Minister has set out that promoting healthy lifestyles and choices through interventions preventing ill health, and by encouraging more activity for general wellbeing for all ages, is a key priority. Taking Wales Forward also includes a commitment to introducing a new Wales Wellbeing Bond aimed at improving mental and physical health and to reduce sedentary lifestyles, poor nutrition and excessive alcohol consumption. We're also developing plans to introduce a social prescribing scheme in mental health. Social prescribing is an example of our move towards a more co-productive approach which seeks to rebalance the relationship between patient and professional. Looking holistically at the needs of individuals and signposting them on appropriately to a range of community and public services is a core component of our vision for a social model of health. I know we're not starting from scratch. Many of you will already be involved in or are aware of local initiatives that do just this, whether that's books on prescription, exercise on referral or green prescribing. And today is an opportunity for you to share some of your experiences but also to put forward ideas and suggestions for how we can make these approaches more systematic. For example, what are the policies and practices needed to ensure that investment in the environment enhances people's health and well-being? Can investments in the environment be better targeted to enhance public health and well-being? What do health and care professionals need to gain confidence in local green prescribing schemes and how can this be met? I look to you as leaders to utilise your skills, experience and dynamism to build on Wales's reputation for being at the forefront of public health and sustainability. And I'm grateful to you all for spending the time today to explore some of these key questions. I hope you have an enjoyable and productive day and I look forward to learning about the outcomes from the event. Thank you very much. Dilchenbauer.